Want vision? Man, I hope this show is going somewhere. For 10 years, starting in 2008 with Marvel's Iron Man 1, we've had a universe full of colorful superheroes, action, adventure, occasionally comedy. All these things, very escapist entertainment, which was excellent coming out of the horrible 2008 recession. Now, in 2021, we've had a similar situation. Worldwide, the economy stinks, people have been locked in their homes, and they could use some escapist entertainment again. WandaVision just came out today as of the recording of this video. An interesting throwback. In 2019, we officially ended what we knew of as the MCU with Endgame. The Avengers were broken up. Some of our favorite characters were killed. Some came back. Some ended up as old men who kind of watched on the sideline as all this stuff happened, even though he could have totally told everyone what was going on. But we take two medium terror characters. Not the worst, not the best. Wanda and Vision, who in the comic books have had a long time marriage romance going on. This is the first of the Marvel shows to show up on Disney+. Plus. Disney+, Plus started about a year ago as Disney's own streaming service, which has more or less been a dud, with the exception of The Mandalorian. The Mandalorian was able to reinvigorize the the Star Wars franchise, get people excited about it again. How about Vision and Wanda? Will we go the same way? Will we see the action and adventures? Not in this show, at least not initially. Very interesting the way they decided to start it. Spoilers ahead. In this first episode, we have black and white, where Vision and Wanda are driving through a picturesque middle America town They end up getting a house and living together, and it's basically an homage to 1950s TV shows. Now, I wasn't alive in the 50s, but in the 80s, I did watch a lot of these shows on rerun. Dick Van Dyke Show, Father Knows Best, Hazel the Witch. All of these shows contributed to this sort of atmosphere where you had a pretty sort of perfect wife and you had a hard-working husband who goes out while the wife maintains the house takes care of the kids cleans the clothes and whatnot the exception is both wanda and vision still have their powers vision now somehow is able to make himself look perfectly human so for the most of part of the show he looks like anybody else And the show is sort of a traditional 1950s trope where the boss is coming for dinner with the boss's wife. The boss's wife, who's played by Midge, who was Red's wife from that 70s show. They come over, and of course there's a misunderstanding, so Wanda didn't make anything. And she's got the neighbor who helps her out. The neighbor is played by Kat Demings, who was in the Thor movies. She was... Jane Foster's nerdy, horny scientist friend. I don't know if she's supposed to be the same person in this show or a different character or what's going on. As we go through the show, hilarity and hijinks ensue. And luckily, Wanda is able to save the day. It was a very interesting start, and this is a very different kind of show. To be perfectly honest, I'm ready for something a little different. A lot of those Marvel movies became very formulaic. Really, the only difference between Doctor Strange and Iron Man 2008 is the subject matter. You have magic versus magic iron techno suit. The rest of it is the same. Now, in this show, it's hard to say what exactly is going on. In the very end, the very last shot, they have somebody holding a remote control. We have like the ending of the TV show where we we have the cast, you know, and it zooms out and you have the guy holding the remote. 
So it seems as though somebody is watching them, but we never, we don't know anything about who. So I am hoping that there is some sort of an overarching storyline, something we're going to find out a little more of, where it sort of ties into a more um, possibly action-oriented Marvel Universe, something to tie this group in. Now, where the heck have Wanda and Vision been? I don't know. The last we heard about Vision is he died in Infinity War. I guess his body was around. Maybe Wanda brought him back. Maybe this all takes place in the Mind Stone. It's really hard to say. But one thing that is interesting is in the comic books, there was a storyline where Wanda, who in the comics is a mutant, she alters reality, which is her powers, but she alters it to the state that most of the mutants in the world die. So most of the superpowered people in the world are, are zapped out of existence. Now, it's a question, is that what they're doing here? Is this going to be a prelude to why the Fantastic Four and maybe the X-Men can enter the MCU? Maybe. It's certainly going to be interesting to see what happens in the future. So for me, so far it's a watch. I don't entirely understand what's going on. I like nostalgia because, hey, who doesn't like nostalgia? So I think I'm going to keep watching. All right, what do you guys think? Did you enjoy WandaVision episode one? Do you like those 50 shows or am I, am I on, a, on a limb here? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, still give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel because we'll have more videos coming up very soon. And leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought.